Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Dave Vaughn from Plant a Million Corals Foundation and I'm going to be talking to you today about the new technique of microfragmentation and specifically for some successful examples in the Mesoamerican reef. And so many of you may know microfragmentation. It is different than the normal fragmentation of staghorn or branching coral in large pieces, but instead it's done with a specialized saw to make many more pieces, much smaller size, which stimulates them to grow faster. And it also allows us to uh, put them back together in a form called reskinning of the many same pieces that we cut in microfragmentation. This picture is a land-based nursery tank with many uh, examples of Orbicella, uh, the mountain star coral that is on a uh, cement plug and being grown to size for outplanting. So we can hold about a thousand corals in a land-based tank as seen on this left-hand picture. Many pieces will grow up to the size from the size of, of just a few millimeters to two to three centimeters across in just six to nine months. The picture on the right actually shows some of these grown up micro fragments becoming so large that they're touching each other. And like most corals do not like to touch each other because they'll want to fight. But these corals are actually fusing back together because they all came from the same original piece. So these two processes allow us to be able to do two things. One is to uh, produce many corals fast and second is to put them back together into larger size colonies. This shot so shows just two years worth of about 20 pieces of fragments placed on a dead coral skeleton and in just two years grow past the, the plugs, touch each other and fuse back together, making a coral head that would have taken 25 to 75 years uh, grow as new skin on an old skeleton. We can even do this in larger size coral heads or bombings in that we can take something the size of an automobile and put a few hundred pieces on it. And eventually in just two to three years, bring something back to life by new, new live tissue that would have taken 200 to 300 years to grow. So this is a game changer for corals. It actually is easily done on a land nursery by cutting them into tiny pieces using a saw that is meant to cut coral jewelry, but now can be used to make small micro fragments uh, with staff on land. It can also be done and it is being done in places uh, like the uh, Institute of uh, Fisheries and Aquaculture in Enapesca in uh, Mexico where they have an indoor lab like you see on the right hand picture, cutting corals, and an outdoor lab where they're growing many of these fragments in tanks to be able to plant out. They have shown with regular fragmentation of staghorn and elkhorn coral in one of the main uh, coral reefs near Cancun that from a hurricane being disastered down to just a rubble pile, in just a few years with just a few thousand corals can look like this with just the elkhorn and the staghorn coral. But this can also be done in other places and with other species such as the massive species as well as the two branching acroporids. A good example of this of success is actually uh, fragments of hope in Belize. Here with a hands-on uh, class Lisa Carnes is showing some of the interested conservationists and fishermen how it is done in the water. And besides having a field nursery, 
you know, they have actually been successful of putting one of these cutting saws on the back of a catamaran vessel so that they're cutting at night and then planting the very next day. This has shown to be able to be done in many places in the Mesoamerica Reef. And one good show of success is Laughing Bird K with Fragments of Hope, where this reef was disaster after a hurricane. And in just a few years now, growing staghorn and elkhorn coral, they are using microfragmentation on a vessel to do the same thing with more elkhorn and more of the other corals as well. So we see it's a success. And it's not just a success for beginning. It's not just a good start. It is the hope that we need for game-changing coral restoration at scale. And I'm proud to say that the Mesoamerican Reef, like the Caribbean and like the other places in Indonesia, need this technology to be able to expand this so we can restore coral reefs in our lifetime. Thank you.